The Young and the Restless soap world is responding to reports that The Young and the Restless has fired a series of poor quality employees and are recruiting new positions, making our program more and more steaming and more leading. The rule of elimination and elimination always exists around us and it's impossible not to have much, but we have to accept to not change ourselves, to become better. We have to accept failure. Josh Griff always has extremely strict life decisions, so our essential writers are extremely difficult than Mal Young. Josh Griffith always observed his assistant writers and wanted them to be creative. Each person will have time to work as well as take on their own content, and he was the manager of all of them. He censored the entire program and would change the whole habit of everyone. But the fired person will keep tight because they need to take and make a new job, so keeping it's an advantage over them. Josh Griffith always respects his subordinate colleagues and wants them to change it for the better. A person with such qualities is never going to be fired. He was always trusted by the bosses and the audience his writers' counsel appreciated. Sarah Bible was the only one who voiced and admitted to being fired, and he said that he was overwhelmed with the intensity of his work as well as Johnny's too good attitude. So he deserves to be fired because he can't follow these goals, nothing. But Sarah Bible has appeared in most impressive episodes from Mal Young's time to Josh's. He's nothing to worry about. This change is a worthy change and a necessary revolution. Right now it's effective, but not too subjective. Josh Griffith should also listen to himself, and he also acts not to write. How do you feel when nearly 50 employees are fired and five writers are expelled?